how are you my dear students welcome back to our lessons we are now in lesson three our topic is operations on functions let us start with an exercise for the exercise number one you are going to solve and simplify the given problems I will give you 30 seconds to answer this five problems number one problem 3x plus x again for number one 3x plus x number two 2x plus x again number two 2x plus x number three negative one minus one number three negative one minus one number four The sum of A and B times C or A plus B times C. Number 5, 2x squared plus x. Number 5, 2x squared plus x. Your time starts now. Your time is up. Now let us check your answers. Number one, the answer is 4x. 3x plus x equals 4x. Number two, 2x plus x. Yes, that is equal to 3x. Number three, negative one minus one. Of course, it's negative two. For number four, the sum of a and b multiplied by c. The answer is a c plus b c or the product of a c plus the product of b and c okay so for number four this is a distributive property number five 2x squared plus x that is equivalent to okay 2x squared plus x parent so we cannot combine the 2x squared and the x because they have different exponents okay so x the the exponent of x is only one and the exponent of the x squared is two so we cannot combine them so please remember that because we are going to use that in our lesson for today we are now in lesson three of our module for quarter one The topic is operations and functions. The important concept that we need to understand in this lesson is that adding, subtracting, and multiplying two or more functions together will result in another functions. Okay, so we need to add, subtract, and multiply two or more functions together. And then the result, of course, is another function. Now, dividing two functions together will also result in another function. So, we also need to divide or we need to do the division of two functions together. Okay, and the result is also in another function if, okay, we have here the condition. If the denominator or divisor is not the zero function. So, what is the zero function? So, dapat yung denominator natin or the divisor, hindi siya magiging zero or it is not an unzero function. So let us start first with the sum of functions. Now for the sum of functions, so how are we going to add two functions together? So let f and g be functions. So we have here the f and g functions. Their sum denoted by f plus g is the function denoted by f of x plus 
g of x. So if we're going to add the two functions, the f and g function, so f plus g functions of x, that is equivalent to f of x plus the g of x. So we are doing a distributive property here now. So we distribute the x to the f and x to the g. That's why we have the f function of x plus the g function of x. Example number one. Okay, so we have here let f function of x equals 3x plus 1. So this is our first function. f of x is equivalent to 3x minus 1. And another function, g function of x equals x minus 1. Again, for our second function, we have g of x equals x minus 1. So we have two given functions. Now, what are we going to do? Find the sum of f and g functions of x. So we need to add the two functions given. Solution. Okay, so the function or the sum of functions formula is f plus g of x is equivalent to f of x plus g of x. So ito yung gagawin natin. So what is the value of our f of x? All we need to do is to replace these two functions with their indicated value. For our f of x, we have 3x plus 1, okay? The given f of x is equivalent to 3x plus 1. So kopyahin lang natin, we will just copy the value of f of x, which is 3x minus 1. Then we also have, or added by, or plus, the function, or the g function of x. Our g function of x, or g of x, is equivalent to x minus 1. Now, our g of x here now becomes x minus 1. So we have to change, change the g of x by its indicated value from the given, which is x minus 1. So we have now the 3x minus 1 plus x minus 1. So next is, okay, so let's, let's remove the parenthesis. So yun man ang natin, no? Let's remove the parenthesis. So we have 3x minus 1, so this is addition, plus x, and then this is plus negative 1. So if we, when we add negative 1, that is magiging negative 1. So that's why we have 3x minus 1 plus x minus 1. Then after this, we are going to combine like terms. So how are we going to combine like terms? So we have here the 3x and x. So same term sila or uh, the x here have the same exponent. So x raised to 1, 3 x raised to 1, and another x raised to 1. So we can combine them together. And then we also have the constant number. We have negative 1 and negative 1. So do not forget the sign of our term, yung sa left side, this, uh, the plus and minus sign before the number. So dapat we need to carry that or copy. No, wag kalimutan yung sign ng numbers natin or ng terms natin. So yung sa left or before the number or before the variable. So those are or the signs of our terms. Okay, so we have positive 3x. This is positive x. This is negative 1. And this is negative 1 also. So, 3x plus x, we have 4x. So, apat na x. Then, we also have 2 negative. Okay, negative 2. Negative 1 minus 1, that is ne negative 2. So, our, our sum is another function, which is 4x minus 2. 
So f plus g of x is equivalent to 4x minus 2. So that's it. So th this is now our solution for the problem or example number 1. Now let's have an example number 2. Okay, try to solve this. Let f of x equals x plus 1. Okay, this is the first function, the f function of x, which is equivalent to x plus 1. And another function, g function of x, is equivalent to 2x squared. Again, g of x is equivalent to 2x squared. So we have here two functions given. What are we going to do? Find the sum of f and g of x or the f plus g functions of x. Our solution. Okay, so let's have here the f plus g of x is equal to, of course, this is the f of x plus g of x. So we will just add the two functions. What is the value of f of x? Our f of x is equivalent to x plus 1. So instead of, uh, instead of writing f of x, so we will write x plus 1. So right here, x plus 1 plus the value of our g of x, which is 2x squared. So we need to replace the g of x by 2x squared. Now we have f plus g of x is equal to x plus 1 plus another function which is 2x squared now let's remove the parenthesis we have x plus 1 and this is positive 2x squared or plus 2x squared now let's combine like terms what are we going to do can we combine 2x squared and x of course not so don't exercise nothing a while ago diba hindi pwede ma combine the x squared and the x because they have different exponents so magkaiba si 2x squared and the x so we cannot combine them together so all we need to do is just arrange our expressions from the highest degree of exponent okay so that's why we have here 2x squared first plus x then plus 1 so we arrange na lang natin yung solution natin so the sum of two functions here which is f of x is equivalent to x plus 1 and the g of x is equivalent to 2x squared results in another function that is equivalent to 2x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, next. Example number 3. So you have to try this example number 3. All you have to do is to find the sum of the two functions. Our problem is let f of x is equivalent to 2x plus 1. Again, f function of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And g of x is equivalent to x plus 3. Again, g function of x equals x plus 3 three so that is the two functions given what what are you going to do is to find the f plus g functions of x or find the sum of f and g functions of x now i will give you 30 seconds for this just try to solve this problem okay your time starts now Nico. Your time is up. Now let us check your solution. Okay? So for our solution, the sum of f and g functions of x is equivalent to the function of x plus the g of x. 
or g function of x. Replace or change the f of x with the value which is 2x plus 1. Okay, this is the given value of f function of x. So 2x plus 1 plus another function of g of x which is x plus 3. Okay, so we have now 2x plus 1 plus x plus 3. Now, let's remove our parenthesis. Magiging 2x plus 1 plus x plus 3. After that, let's combine like terms. So, we have 2x and positive x. Okay, 2x plus x. And then we also have a uh, positive 1 and positive 3. So, that's why we have plus 1 plus 3. So, 2x plus x plus 1 plus 3 that is equivalent to, okay, so 2x plus x is 3x plus 1 plus 3 is positive 4. Okay, so that is now our solution. So I hope that you got the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the difference of functions. For the difference of functions, let us start first with our exercise number two. Again, you are going to solve and simplify for 20 seconds only because this is just a review. Okay, number one, 3x minus x. Number one, 3x minus x. Number two, negative of x minus one. Again, negative of x minus 1 or the negative of the difference of x minus 1. Number 3, negative 1 plus 1. Number 3, negative 1 plus 1. Number 4, a minus b multiplied by c. Again, the difference of a and b multiplied by c. Number 5, 2x squared minus x. Number 5, 2x squared minus x. Okay, your 20 seconds starts now. Your time is up. Now let us check your answers. Okay, for number one, 3x minus x is 2x. Number two, negative of x minus 1. So this is a distributive property. We will distribute that is negative times x. You have negative x. Negative times negative 1, that is positive 1. So our answer here is negative x plus 1. For number 3, negative 1 plus 1, of course, that is equivalent to 0. Number 4, a minus b multiplied by c, or the difference of a and b times c. Okay, again, we will do the distributive property here. So that is a times c minus b times c. Okay, so a c minus b c. Number 5, x minus 2x squared. Again, we cannot combine this two because this is x squared and another one is only x. So all we have to do is to just arrange these two terms. So we have negative 2x squared comes first, then followed by positive x. Okay, negative 2x squared plus x. Okay, I hope you've got all the correct answers. Now, the difference of functions. For the difference of functions, so let f and g again be functions. We have the f and g functions. Their difference is denoted by, so we have the f minus g here. It's the function denoted by f minus g of x is equivalent to, this is the f of x 
minus g of x again this is also a distributive property so this is the f of x minus the g of x so we need to subtract two given functions example okay for the difference of function example number one so let f function of x is equivalent to 3x minus 1 okay the g uh the f of x is 3x minus 1 and the g of x is equivalent to x minus 1 so we will find the f minus g of x or the difference of the two functions for our solution so we have f minus g of x this is our formula is equivalent to f of x minus g of x now our f of x here we need to replace this by the given value which is 3x minus 1 and then the g of x also so we need to replace it by x minus 1 so from the given so do not forget this is subtraction so this is minus x minus 1 okay then so let's remove the parenthesis that is equivalent to 3x minus 1 so since this is negative okay negative times x that's why we have negative x here then we also have negative times negative 1 that's why we have positive 1 right here Okay, so that is equivalent to, now we have 3x and negative x. So do not forget the sign of our x here, which is negative. That's why we have 3x minus x, so they are like terms. Then we have negative 1 and positive 1 right here. Okay, let's combine them together. That is equivalent to? 2x why 2x because negative 1 plus 1 that is equivalent to 0 okay so the difference of the two functions the f of x and g of x function result in another function which is the f minus g of x is equivalent to 2x now let's proceed to example number two okay for example number two let f of x is equivalent to x plus 1 and g of x is equivalent to 2x squared. So you are going to find the f minus g of x. For our solution, so f minus g of x is equivalent to f of x minus g of x. Okay, so I'll replace the value of f of x and g of x that is x plus 1. This is our f of x. And 2x squared, which is our g of x. Okay, so this is subtraction. So x plus 1 minus 2x squared. Now let's remove our parenthesis here. We have x plus 1. And then this is negative of 2x squared. That's why nagiging negative 2x squared na dito. So be careful with the sign para hindi po tayo magkamali sa solution. Now, since the 2x squared is different from x, so we cannot combine them together. All we have to do is to arrange our, all we have to do is just arrange the expressions or the functions. So it starts with, of course, negative 2x squared plus x plus 1. So the result or the difference of two functions f of x and g of x functions is equivalent to another function which is negative 2x squared plus x plus 1 so ganun lang po kadali mag minus or subtract ng functions okay so try this example number three so this is now your your problem this is an example that you need to solve. So let f of x, this is now the given, let f of x is equivalent to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equivalent to x plus 3. Again, the f function of x is 2x plus 
1. And the g of x is x plus 3. Again, the g of x is x plus 3. So find the f minus g of x or the difference of f and g of x. Okay, for 20 seconds only. Your time starts now. Your time is up. Let us check your solution. Okay, our solution is f minus g of x is equivalent to f of x minus g of x. Now replace the value of f of x, which is 2x plus 1, and our g of x is x plus 3. Now we have 2x plus 1 minus x plus 3. Now let's remove the parenthesis. So what will happen? We have 2x plus 1. And this is minus, okay, negative 1 or negative times positive x. So that's why we have negative x here. The negative 1 times positive 3. So negative times positive, we have negative 3. So that's why we have 2x plus 1 minus x minus 3. Okay, now let's combine like terms. We have 2x and negative x here. So we can combine them because they are the same. They are like terms. Okay, now we also have positive 1 and negative 3. So neg uh, positive 1 and negative 3. And uh, that is equivalent to 2x minus x is equal to x. Then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So this is now the difference of the two functions, the f of x and g of x functions. Okay, so let us proceed with the product of functions. For the product of functions, again, before we start with the problem in the product of functions, Let's have first our exercise number three. Okay, this is just a review. You have four questions or four problems given. All you have to do is to solve and simplify. I will give you 30 seconds for this one. Okay, so number one problem is the sum of A plus B multiplied by C plus D. Again, that is quantity A plus B times quantity C plus D. Okay, that is number one. Number two, the sum of X plus one multiplied by two X squared. Again, X plus one or quantity X plus one times two X squared. Number three, quantity two X plus one multiplied by quantity X plus three or the sum of two X plus one multiplied by the sum of x plus 3. That is number 3. For number 4, negative 3x minus x. Again, number 4, negative 3x minus x. Okay, your 30 seconds starts now. Your time is up. Let us check your answers. Okay, for number one, we have here the quantity A plus B multiplied by quantity C and D or C plus D. Now, this is, this is a multiplication of binomials or the product of binomials. So, we can use the FOIL method. Okay, the first term, the outer term the inner term, and the last term. 
Okay, so that is equivalent to A times C that is equivalent to AC. A times D that is equal to AD. Positive. Kasi positive tayo lahat dito. Then, we have here letter B. Okay? For B, that is B times C. That's why we have B, C. And B times D, we have B, D. Okay? So, the product is AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. That is for our answer in number 1. For number 2, that is X plus 1 times 2X squared. Okay? So, same yung gagawin natin. We need to distribute the term, which is 2X squared. So, we have x times 2x squared. That's why we have 2x raised to 3. Bakit naging 2x raised to 3? Because in multiplication, yung exponent ng variable natin, we need to add or get the sum of the 2. Okay, this is x raised to 1. Understood na my exponent 1 yung x. And then x raised to 2. The exponent here is 2. So 2 plus 1. That's why we have 2x raised to 3. And then, the next term is 2x squared times positive 1, okay? So, we have the same answer, which is 2x squared. We cannot combine 2x cubed and 2x squared because they are different terms or different, yeah, unlike terms silang dalawa. Okay, yan lang po ang katandaan natin sa multiplication. Now, number 3, we have 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. So, same yung gagawin natin, yung FOIL method. Okay, the first term is 2x times x. That's why we have 2x squared. Kasi you have 2 times 1 here. Understood na may 1 coefficient yung x, di ba? So, 2 times 1 is 2. x times x. So, meron yung exponent na 1 dyan. Kaya nagiging x raised to 2 tayo. Kasi we need to add the exponents pag multiplication. Okay, next term is 2x times positive 3. 2x times positive 3, we have 6x. So let us write here. Uh, we have here sa middle term natin, we have the 6x. Ayan. And then... Another one, we have 1 times x, we have x. Kaya nagkaroon tayo dito ng 7x. And then we also have 1 times 3. So 1 times 3 is positive 3. So our middle term is the sum of the product of the inner term and the outer term. So that is 6x plus x. That's why we have 7x. The first term is 2x times x. And you know, yung sa first terms natin. The first terms natin, that is 2x squared. And the last term is also the product of the last term here, at 1 times 3. That's why we have positive 3. Okay? Now for number 3 answer is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. For number 4, negative 3x minus x. So, same term sila. Ang gagawin natin is we will just have to subtract or get the difference of the two. So, 3x minus x, we have negative 4x. So, we have 4 negative x. So, negative 4x. Okay? Product of functions na tayo. Okay, in the product of functions, so let f and g be functions. So, we have two functions, f and g functions. Their product is denoted by, so the product of f times g is a function denoted by the f times g function of x is equivalent to f of x times g of x. So that is f of x or f of x times the g of x. Okay, example number one for the product of functions. 
So number 1, our f of x is 3x minus 1 and g of x is x minus 1. Now let us find the f times g of x or the product of f and g functions of x. Our solution, we have f times g of x is equivalent to f of x times g of x. So, the product we need to multiply. So, replace the value of f of x and g of x. So, our f of x is equivalent to 3x minus 1. Then, multiply. Okay, copy the operation. Multiply. Multiplied by x minus 1. Okay, this is our g of x. Now, let's proceed to the multiplication. That is equivalent to, okay, right here, 3x times x. Uh, say, say natin, that is 3x times x plus 3x times negative 1. So we have 3x times negative 1. And then plus, the next term is, this is negative 1. Do not forget the sign of our term. So, negative 1 times positive x. That's why we have here negative 1 times positive x. The next is negative 1 times negative 1. So, the last term is negative 1 times negative 1. Okay, let us simplify this. That is equivalent to 3x times x. Of course, that is 3x squared again. This is x raised to 1, x raised to 1. That's why we have 3x raised to 2. So, so product, we need to add the exponents of our variable, then multiply the coefficients. Bakit 3 lang ito? Because our x here is only, or has only one coefficient. So, understood yan na may 1 dyan. So, that's why 3 times 1 is 3x, 3 rather. So, x raised to 1 times x raised to 1, we have x raised to 2. Now, the next term here, so plus 3x minus 1. Okay, so 3x minus 1, that is equivalent to negative 3x. Kaya nagiging negative dito. So, take note of our sign. Okay, so plus 3x minus 1, that is negative 3x. So, nawala na yung plus dyan kasi negative na yung next term natin. And then, the next term also, we have negative 1 times x. So, negative 1x or negative x. Okay, negative x yung next term natin. And then, the last term is negative 1 times negative 1. Of course, that is positive. That's why we have here plus 1. Okay, so next is, yeah, let's, let's simplify or combine like terms. We have now the 3x squared. Okay, naka-separate ito kasi raised to 2 ito yung first term natin. Then we have negative 3x minus x. So negative 3 and negative 1x, you have negative 4x. And the last term is positive 1. Okay, the product of the two functions here, 3x minus 1 times x minus 1 is another function which is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Ayan, nagmamultiply lang tayo ng dalawang functions. And then the result is also another function. So dito, we just need to master the multiplication of polynomials. Okay, let's proceed to another example. f of x, let f of x is equivalent to x plus 1 and g of x is equivalent to 2x squared. So, let's find the product of the f and g function of x. So, no. let's put a parenthesis right here. Okay, so solution. f times g of x is equivalent to f of x times g of x. Now, let, uh, let us replace the value of our functions. The f of x is equivalent to x plus 1. And our g function, which is 2x squared. Ayan, ito si f of x, and the x plus 1 is our f of x, and the 2x squared is our g of x. So, we need to find the product of the two functions. 
i-multiply natin. That is equivalent to, okay, so this is also a distributive property. Distribute natin. So this is x times 2x squared. We have 2x raised to 3. Kasi this is raised to 2 and then our x raised to 1. So x squared times x, that is x raised to 3. I-add lang natin yung exponent ng variable natin pag magmo-multiply tayo ng two variables. Okay, so that is x times 2x squared, we have 2x cubed or 2x raised to 3. And then we have positive 1 times 2x squared, we have positive 2x squared. So this is now our product of the two functions which is equal to 2x raised to 3 plus 2x raised to 2 or 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Okay, now let's us proceed to example number 3. Now it's your turn to solve this problem. I will give you 30 seconds for this. The problem is let f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Again, the f function of x is equivalent to 2x plus 1. And g of x is equivalent to x plus 3. Our g function of x is equivalent to x plus 3. Find the f and g of x. Okay, so find the f and g functions of x. Okay, for 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Time is up. Now let us check your answer. Okay, for example, number three, the solution. The f and g of x is equivalent to the f of x times the g of x. Okay, the product of f and g function of x is equivalent to f of x times g of x. Okay, substitute the value of f of x and the g function of x. So you have... 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. So 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. Okay, perform the operation. Let us dis uh, do the multiplication here. So 2x times x. This is the first term. Then the next is 2x times 3. This is the second term. And then we have... 1 times x, the third term, and the last one is 1 times 3, okay? So, after that, let's get a product of this. So, that is 2x times x, we have 2x squared, plus 2x times 3, you have 6x. Then 1 times x, that is positive x. And the last term is 1 times 3 is positive 3. So simplify by combining like terms. So you have 6x and x. Ayan. So 6x plus x, yan lang po ang pwede natin i-combine, the middle term. So that's why we have the 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. San galing yung 7x? The sum of 6x plus x. Okay, kopyahin lang po natin sa addition. Kukopyahin lang natin yung variable natin kasi same naman sila, same x. So, wala na po yung exponent. Understood na po yan na may exponent na 1. So, 6 na x plus isang x, may pitong x tayo sa middle term. So, the product of the two functions here in our example number 3, the f of x is equivalent to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equivalent to x plus 3. Their product is equal to 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So that is the product of functions. Now let us proceed to the division of functions. To start, let us have 
the exercise number four. Okay, solve and simplify. Okay, I will give you, I will give you 20 seconds for this. Okay, number one, A divided by B divided by C over D. Or the quotient of A over B and C over D. Okay? So, A over B divided by C over D. Number 2, 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 2 divided by 3x. Again, 2x plus 1 over x minus 2 times or multiplied by x minus 2 over 3x. For number 3, 2x divided by x. 2x over x or 2x divided by x. So you have to solve and simplify. You only have three three problems. So that is for 30 seconds, uh, 20 seconds rather. Time starts now. Your time is up. Now let us check your answer. Okay. So for the division of the two fractions here, two rational numbers, that is A over B divided by C over D, what are you going to do is cross multiply lang natin. So A times D divided by B times C. Again, so say A times D, ito yung mauna, the numerator multiplied by the denominator of the other fraction. Okay, A. A times D. So this is A times D divided by B times C. Okay, so that is the solution or the answer here. Next is... 2x plus 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 2 over 3x. In this problem, as you can see here, so meron tayong the same value ng numerator and the denominator. So we can cancel this since it is division. So x minus 2 over x minus 2. So ano yung maiwan? So we have... 2x plus 1 over 3x. So that's why our our solution here is 2x plus 1 over 3x. Ayan, kung pwede i-cancel, kasi that is equivalent to 1. x minus 2 over x minus 2, that is equivalent to 1. That's why we have we only have 2x plus 1 over 3. Okay? So for number 3, 2x divided by x. Okay, so since we have x here, x over x. So, x over x that is equivalent to 1. May iwan na lang yung 2. So, sa division, all you need to do is 2 minus the exponent of the variable. So, magiging x raised to 1 minus 1. So, in this part, kasi x divided by x or 2x divided by x our variable here is x over the x so ma minus lang natin yung exponent ng x which is 1 minus 1 that's why that is equivalent to x raised to 0 so any number or any variable raised to 0 that is equivalent to positive 1 so positive 1 that's why that ang maiwan na lang natin here is positive 2 that is 2 times positive 1 here so for number three, our answer is positive two. Okay, now let's proceed to the division of functions. So we have here uh, the f and g functions. 
So, how are we going to get the quotient? So, their quotient denoted by F divided by G is the function denoted by F over G of X is equal to F of X divided by G of X. So, again, that is F of X divided by G of X. Excluding, so dito may condition tayo sa division. Excluding the values of X where X where where g of x or the de the denominator is equal to zero so let it, let us have an example number one let f of x is equivalent to 3x minus 1 and g of x is equivalent to x minus 1 again the f function of x is 3x minus 1 and g function of x is x minus 1 find the f over g of x or the quotient of f and g function of x solution so our f of g of x uh, substitute na natin or replace our f of x and g of x with the given value our f of x here is 3x plus 1 and our g of x is x minus 1 and then perform the operation so let's divide okay so we have f over g of x so we cannot divide this one because Ito na yung simplified form nila. Okay, so we have 3x minus 1 over x minus 1. Where, so you need to put the condition here, where x is not equal to positive 1. So hindi included yung positive 1 sa solution natin. Bakit? If x is equivalent to positive 1, that will make our denominator equal to 0. Kasi magiging 1 minus 1 that is equivalent to 0, magiging undefined na siya. So, dito sa condition natin, excluding the value of x where g of x is equal to 0. Dapat hindi magiging 0 yung g of x natin or the denominator. So, that's why in our solution here, the x should not be equal to positive 1. Because that value will make our denominator equal to 0. Okay. Now, example number 2. Let f of x is equivalent to x plus 1. And g of x is 2x squared. Okay, x plus 1 yung f of x. And the g of x is 2x squared. Now, I want you to try this one. Find the f over g of x. Okay, so for 20 seconds, your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. Let us check your answer. Our solution here is f of x, uh, f over g of x is equivalent to f of x over g of x. Okay, substitute the value of f of x, which is x plus 1, and the g of x, which is 2x squared. So our, our function here is x plus 1 divided by 2x squared. Okay, so we cannot simplify that because that is already our simplified form. So, f over g of x, that is equivalent to x plus 1 over 2x raised to 2. Okay, where x, so the condition is x should not be equal to 0 or x is not equal to 0. Why? Because if x is equal to 0 here, that is 2 times 0 raised to 2, that is equivalent to 0. That will make our denominator equal to 0. Okay, so hindi dapat magiging 0 yung denominator natin. So, ano ba yung value ng x na magiging 0 yung denominator? Of course, the 0. So, if 0, if x is equal to 0, our denominator here will become 0. Kasi 2 times 0 raised to 2, that is equivalent to 0. Example number 3. Okay, let us try to solve this. f of x is equivalent to 2x plus 1 over x minus 2. And the g of x is equivalent to 3x over x minus 2. So we have two functions here. Now let us replace the function of f and g of x. So f over g of x is equivalent to f of x divided by g of x. Our f of x here is 2x plus 1. 
So, pwede natin isulat ng ganito. F of x divided by g of x. Okay, kasi we have two fractions here. Now, the f of x, substitute lang natin yung value ng f of x and the g of x. So, we have now 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. Okay, or 2x plus 1 over x minus 2 divided by, okay, so 3x over x minus 2. Okay, that is our g of x. Next, in the division, so sa exercise natin kanina, anong gagawin? For the div division of two fractions, okay, cross multiply nang natin. So that's why we have 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. And then you also have here x minus 2 times 3x. x minus 2 times 3x. So anong, anong nangyari dito? So nag baliktad. Okay? Reciprocal of the second fraction. Okay, so 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times 3x. So cross multiply lang tayo. And then, here, so we have x minus 2 and x minus 2. So x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, that is equivalent to 1, that's why... Our solution now is equivalent to 2x plus 1 over 3x. Okay, 2x plus 1 over 3x. This is now our solution. Where x, so ano yung value ng x na magiging 0 yung denominator natin? So the value of x is, if the value of x is equal to 0, that is 3 times 0, that will make our denominator equivalent to 0. So, 0 here is not included in our value of x. So, x should not be equal to 0. Okay, so the quotient of the two functions, 2x plus 1 over x minus 2 and 3x over x minus 2 is equivalent to another function which is 2x plus 1 over 3x where x is not equal to 0. So that is for the division of functions. Okay, now I want you to try this last example which is example number 4. Okay, I'm going to read the problem. Let f of x is equivalent to 2 over x. f of x is equal to 2 divided by x and g of x is equal to 1 over x again the g of x is 1 divided by x so find the f over g of x i will give you 30 seconds for this last problem time starts now Your time is up. Now let us check your answer. For our solution, so we have f over g of x is equivalent to f of x over g of x, or we can write it as f of x divided by g of x. Now let us substitute the value of our f of x and g of x. Okay, the function of uh, the f function of x is equivalent to 2 over x divided by 1 over x. Next is we are going to multiply. Okay, cross multiply. So we have now 2 over x times this one, the reciprocal of 1 over x, which is x over 1. So 2 over x times x over 1. And then f of uh, f over g of x is equivalent to, that is 2x over x. Now, x, 
2x divided by x that is equal to positive 2. So, na-solve na natin ito kanina dun sa example natin, that 2x divided by x. Now, before we end our lesson, let us first review our functions. So, how are we going to do the operations and functions? Number one here, the sum of the two function f and g. So, if we have f plus g of x, or f plus g functions of x, that is equivalent to f of x plus g of x. So, that is for the sum of the two functions. Next is the difference. So, the difference of f and g function. So, you have f minus g. So, f minus g function of x or the difference of f and g functions of x. That is equivalent to f of x minus g of x. So, all you have to do is to subtract the two functions. Next is the product of f and g functions. Okay, f times g functions of x. That is equivalent to f of x times g of x. Okay, so for the product, all you have to do is to multiply the two functions. For the quotient of the two functions f and g. So th this is defined as f over g of x that is equivalent to f of x divided by g of x. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much for listening and watching. So for those who want to review, you can replay our video. Thank you so much and have a great day, everyone. Keep safe.